Warning, if you're faint of heart or easily offended, this show is not for you. Hey guys, this is the Nick Fertucci Show. I am not Nick Fertucci or Veronica, but I'm Nicole, and I'm here with Rampage, my boyfriend. Wow. Anyways, <laughs> this is not Nick Fertucci. I am Nick Fertucci, and like Nicole said, she is here with Ethan Rampage, and we are going to be interviewing him, and Valerie, it's so nice to see you way over there. Uh, let's go. Bring your motherfucking receipt and show us so we could support you. If not, shut the f up. Come out hot. If I can ask you about Jacob. We had an inappropriately close friendship. Okay, I'm gonna press you. The casinos cheat. They cheat how? What's up, guys? <laughs> you're right, you're wrong, you're right. What am I gonna put on a pair of glasses yeah, and a nose I and walk in? Telling everybody I'm the best. I can't hunt. That would look bad. The mental anguish. This is what my plan was from the beginning, <laughs> is that nobody remembers her name. <laughs> well, all right, there you go. We met uh, Rampage's lovely girlfriend, Nicole. We're I, now back stuck I'm with this. I'm sorry for Nicole fans out there. <laughs> yeah, You're stuck with me. Yeah, this is, uh, try to adjust your eyes. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> uh, so, Ethan, good to have you here. It's Hello. taken a little bit to get you here. I know. I mean, look, I'm a really busy guy. You have to ask me like on the seventh time. Then I'll yeah, show up. Yeah, you're so. big time me six exactly. times in a row. Yeah. It's nice. Of course. It's nice. Well, you got humbled a little bit yesterday in the show. You only lost 84. I only lost 84. <laughs> yeah, that's it's not good. too bad. Yeah. Well, it could have been worse. It you were the biggest better. loser, which kind of makes you the biggest winner. Like, I won something. You won at something. Yes. I'm at the very bottom, which if you flip it upside down, then I'm actually at the top. So... Did you run right. bad yesterday or did you just uh, I, play bad? I just like to give away money from time to time. You do. I have some did problems. Did you bluff a lot of it away? I never had it at all. <laughs> it does, that's not good to You win. never had it. I, I just cost never you. usually have it. Yeah. yeah. You know, at the on the Hustler show, when you don't have it, it's tough because nobody likes to fold. It's, it's, I don't like to fold either. I can't yeah. fold them. I don't know why I'm trying to bluff people that don't like folding. Yeah. But it's more fun that way because then you feel like you accomplished the unaccomplishable. But, right, but then they don't fold. So then now I'm now I'm down money. Are you are you like chill with being down money because you have this perspective of like I'll eventually get it back? Uh, I used to. Then then I keep losing, and then and then now like the hole is so big where I don't know what's gonna happen. Where so are I'm, you I'm like? Questioning but everything. seriously, are you are how stuck are you right now? Uh, uh, lifetime. Uh, the past. Are you actually stuck? Not lifetime, but the past three sessions, I'm down like a million dollars at Hustler. So that's not fun. That's like a higher number than I've ever had before in my life. So, you know, yeah, I've got some work to do. Yeah. I've got well, some things to figure out. <clears throat> you we, know, we, f we figure you can afford it. And so we do the setup hands with you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Cause, yeah, cause when hurt, I was we your don't age, poor, poor people. I was losing a million dollars in a month you, you too. Don't play yeah. That great. No, yeah, I don't. I mean, well, I need you back. He doesn't in the either. <laughs> he doesn't either. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Nick, we need to battle more. All right. You got to get back into the, in the streets. I didn't get, I need to get some fun money back. You need some Nick money. Well, you know, funny thing is, and uh, real quick, obviously everyone watching this knows who you are. You, again, I'm not kissing your ass, but you, you kind of are a rising star really fast in the poker world. It's true. Um, which we're going to talk about because I, I personally don't understand it. You're not that interesting, but you are, you are just skyrocketing to the top. Um, joking. You're, you're, it's really interesting when I take all your money. Though. <clears throat> I know, I know, I know that is interesting. Well, what's interesting to me is if we go back to, uh, you, you even told me the year, I think the first time, anyways, you were on hustler back when 2021 close to when you guys started. Yeah. yeah right. When we started yeah, first and we were playing, I don't remember if we were playing anti game or 2550, but you were playing way over your head at the time. You were like, was. you were in nosebleeds at that time. What we were you hardly... typically playing at that <clears throat> time. I don't even remember the stakes, to be honest. It's all yeah, blur. It was, it was not very big. And it was like 10-20? Yeah, and you were stepping up, but we got into a big 10, hand. 10 was big for you back then? 10 mm -hmm. was a huge shot take, and I gave Nick like $50,000. Yeah, was like he tried to bluff me. Did you cry much. in the fetal position that night? I was, I was down bad, yeah. yeah? I did. Nick made me cry. Yeah, that was, a, that was your tough... Like, well, at the time, you weren't balling yet. Uh, you were no, you were just on the I way up. Shot yeah, 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 you were shot taking. Well, everything was a shot take, even yeah. now. Still, but man, you came after me a lot. Like you were really targeting me. I tried. Yeah, what can I do? Yeah, I got lucky. <laughs> I got lucky. You can't bluff a donkey. You got to remember that. Yes, I thought yeah. you could fold from time to time. You don't play many hands. <laughs> Okay, yeah, if I'm going to play hand, so why would I fold? Let's think about this. He doesn't play many hands, so what's he playing? This is my Top brain, of his okay? range. Yeah. Can you just let me... This is why I'm, I'm down a million dollars right now. Okay. <laughs> 
Yeah. Don't don't tap the tank. So <laughs> so you're on a are you on a downswing or just at hustler? I'm yeah, life swing, life downer. I don't know. So just a little just bit. But it happens in poker you get a, sometimes you're on a little yeah, downswing. Yeah, like yeah, I, I talk I like thought about this last <clears> night. Like I haven't even played that much poker really. No. To for to be to be down that much. Like I'm down a million in three sessions at Hustler. I'm down like a little bit more on other streams and tournaments and stuff. But I haven't played like that much volume, so yeah. Wait, so it's just self-inflicted. As a person, a normal human being who lives a normal life and makes normal amount of money, who doesn't lose a million dollars in three sessions, how, what is like your main source of revenue? How are you alive? Like, if I lost a million dollars, I'd be so down bad for the rest of my life. I'd be eating <clears throat> spam every day. This is a, this is a show. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm down. I'm down bad <laughs> for sure. <laughs> yeah, but like, don't you have a source of revenue? Like, does your YouTube channel pay? The, like, there how are else are you? Different streams of income. With, does your like, girlfriend work a corporate job that well, you live off l- of? Luckily, Nicole comes from money and fam- family <laughs> money, so I'm good. <laughs> right. Yeah. I mean, yeah, have, you're you're you're, you're, ma- you're gonna marry. So you and Nick whatever. Airball basically have the exact same plan. Your woman well, this brings is how in. How it works, right? Yeah, like yeah. How else are you gonna make money outside of right. marrying up? Yeah, that's smart. That's smart. Yeah. So, Thanks, Nicole, for your poker contribution <clears throat> to the world. No, so, there was a there was a point. To actually, answer your question though. Like, there was a point where maybe last two, two years, maybe where like it kind of switched. I saw myself as like a YouTuber and whatever, and then I started playing Hustler more and kept shot taking and shot taking, and then like the the poker money was way more significant than any other like ad revenue or whatever or sponsorships or whatever I can make. You know, you can't be swinging like hundreds of thousands of dollars and expect to make that much money when I get not as many views on YouTube, like not Mr. Beast or anything like that. So then like the most of the money, I guess, comes from trying to play poker reasonably well enough to break even or win. So that's where the majority of it comes from now in my life. And I think it's a fair ask, but like out of that million, how much of it is you? Because you do sell, right? Uh, <clears throat> Maybe you don't. Yeah. I like I'm being more responsible now, I guess. Mm-hmm. Over the past like 6 months, I used to have basically 100% of myself and now I have like 90% or something. Okay, so it's still a, very, so still a big number. Better. So what's yeah. your markup to your backers because you guys the markup. I actually don't know how to do that for cash. It's not a thing. And it also seems really shitty it is, to it sell is. for yeah. cash. It's well, not a you thing. don't do that. Yeah. I mean, there's markets out there for this. Yeah. But, I don't know how. I don't. I really don't know how. Yeah. Okay. But so you're so you're tournament selling ten percent. Tournaments people do it. Uh, yeah, like on average maybe or something. I don't know. I'm, I'm being more responsible now. I'm selling ten percent at a time. So you can still eat <laughs> after you lose. Yes, because a million I dollars. scammed my friends. So at least out of the ten percent that I didn't <laughs> lose, I get to you know rake that in. Speaking of scams, are we going to talk about later the the five hundred ball? Uh, that was fun. What's his name? What's his name again? Good old Dustin. <clears throat> oh, Dustin, the closer. It wasn't five hundred. Can we not just like? How, how much was it? It was four fifty. Okay. okay. <laughs> for you know, because you leaned into that, you went crazy a little bit on social media outing him. So this is no secret. It's not like I'm bringing. I mean, I am bringing up a sore point, but that's yeah. what I do. Uh, you, um, what made you trust this guy? How, how does <clears throat> how does this happen? With no paperwork and no lean on the Just being an idiot. Well, so, like, the timing was perfect for this guy. Uh, I get, like, my biggest score ever in a tournament. I win, like, close to $900,000. And for, like, the first time, I actually have, like, over a million in my bank account liquid. And I'm just like, this is too much money. Yeah. I was like, let's, <clears throat> let's. We got to invest. Let's invest or do something stupid yeah, or get it out it. of my account. That's all of the things I did, actually. So, so you didn't want to go the typical route and invest into the market. Why would I do that? You can't forex. That might that work. <laughs> you you can't forex the crypto <laughs> altcoin. It could, no. Yeah. What what was his pitch and how did he? When, so, when did you finally know that you were fucked? Give us word for word so that I could pitch it to somebody else who yeah. wins a tournament. Oh, he's really good with this. The words, pitch to be honest. and how you knew you were screwed. I mean, I had like a, a, a mutual friend that we all know. Uh, he invested and he was getting like these monthly dividends back. So I was like, okay, like worst case scenario, I get the dividends back of like the promised profit. And then he was supposed to send the full lump sum after the term and contract. Which what was, was the like promised profit? Six months or something. Uh, like 30 or 40%. So I sent 450 and I was supposed to get like 200 back as profit. And then at the end of the term of seven months or something, then I get the full lump sum back. You actually believe that someone was going to give you 40% profit I on your thought, money? Okay, to be fair, I thought I was going to get my monthly dividends back. And if I get scammed, I only but get wait, scammed for 200. Ford, you were you thought you were going to get 40% of your investment in a month, every month? No, uh, no total. For, the, for the total. total. For the total. Okay. Was, at the end. But so still, I, 40% is insane. Like I, um, I know. Yeah. <laughs> 
but my close okay. friend was getting some money back. Is your close friend, did they get scammed or did they scam you? Yeah, they they got also got scammed. Oh, uh, so they were scamming you. So we it was a Ponzi scheme. It was so a Bernie, yeah, Bernie so Madoff situation. This only works if there are other more yeah, idiots like myself yeah, yeah. that yeah. would invest money. Well, that's right. What she's ex saying is exactly right. The Ponzi scheme is you get you take money, you give dividends, everyone hears about these great dividends. You pay from a new they, person, they you get pay the other person the who other has the people their dividend. Yeah, and, and then, then you go apart. on a yacht and, when and you, you enjoy you know, your listen, life. Listen, in all fairness to you, and I'm not just saying this, you're young and I've also, maybe not that badly, but I've also done some things that I regret early on, like in business and things I shouldn't have done. When did you know that Oh my God, this guy is full of shit. Uh, well, when I sent the money, I, I was next to Nicole and I was like, there's like, I'm giving it like a 30% chance I get scammed entirely. Really? Yeah, I just like don't really have much You're taking of a, a pain shot. threshold of much. I don't know. I'm kind of you don't have a you don't have a very you have a big pain <laughs> threshold. Actually, Lord, I have no threshold. Yeah, there. it's, it's weird. I've even watched yeah. you in poker and like honestly, when we were shot taking, like you know, whenever like it doesn't matter. I, just, I know. No. Yeah, even, you know, you came in second in that charity thing and you were just like all in. You just didn't seem... You know what? I think I, you would care about that, but it's just weird. I, I have actually three thought, big blinds, to be fair. Yeah. Lots of all in. I will that say, was sound strategy. Okay, that no, was, you're right. You're part right. of part of you, and I can see why you're so appealing to the general public, because you're so, like, so transparent to the point where it's sometimes maybe detrimental to you, but, like, you're so open with everything and you're like, yeah, I'm just stupid. I just came... I just gave him my money. So it, well, I can't say it was good. A lot of people financial. try to save face, right? Yeah, but yeah. it's interesting. Yeah. But when did you finally know? He just stopped returning calls? Well, I mean, I just handled He was it. on a yacht smoking you, a cigar. Look, he shut up. Actually, oh, you know, I lied. For the first month, I got my dividend. Oh, okay. I got the 20K or whatever that was promised. Wow. So I'm actually only scammed out of 430000 That's fair. So this is a big win. Kind when of a win. When, yeah. than when did it become real that it was over? It was probably like two months after the second payment was late. And then I was hammering him and he was just giving me bullshit i was like all right eventually he just stopped sucks. responding uh he, he keeps responding actually if i text him right now he'll respond and really get the money yeah i don't know and he still know. says you're gonna get it that's what he says but there's mm. like I, i've met i've talked to like a different group there's people that are trying to out him and other people like him to like the irs or mm. something it's probably serious. a different agency i know who yeah it would be the FBI. I saw it. FBI, that one. Yeah. yeah I saw yeah. it on Instagram or something. Yeah. Because so. the FBI will go after people that are religiously scamming people in real estate deals and other stock deals. And if there's enough track record and the, the amount's big enough, they will go after you. How do you know? Because <laughs> <laughs> I, I made a deal. <laughs> You keep your amount just small enough under the threshold. Yeah, you got to be under the thre <laughs> threshold. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. That's smart. Even like on grand thefts, if you're just under the thousand or whatever it is, you just you're good. It's oh yeah, theft. well I live in the Bay Area, so yeah. the stealing oh, Bay Area, is not no, a crime. There's no yeah. threshold. There's no, there's no threshold. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You can just steal anything you want. It's yes, fine. Yes, yes, yes. Still prefer there over here. I do. I mean, I'm. I don't. I don't like Los Angeles. I'm just not. It's not my vibe. But theft is your vibe. Yeah theft okay. grand theft auto is my vibe yeah yeah so you're from massachusetts Massachusetts. why why are you saying it like this massachusetts it's a weird word how do you say it massachusetts it to be honest i realized that like when i started traveling this is a long fucking state i don't know why this this name is so long you just massachusetts yeah Mass. you went to you went to college there i went to college and what'd you take graduated i took Business management, one of the fakest degrees possible. Yes. No, communications got to be the fakest. Is it faker than communications? It seems that, well, communications is like a lot of writing and stuff. Ours yeah. was like, take a quiz and then take the quiz three more times. We'll give you the right answer. Then you can get an A. Ah. And, and you, you were like an intern, right? Like you, I, I looked up, you were executive branch manager, yeah. marketing intern. Damn right. Product big manager, intern. One, yeah. Very big word, buzzword. There was executive. a lot of buzzwords yeah. on, your, on your Wikipedia. Damn right. Yeah, man. <laughs> and then <laughs> one thing yourself. I found interesting is you had mentioned, and maybe it wasn't poker. You said you tried uh, like almost twenty different YouTube type of channels that all failed. Uh huh. Were they all? They weren't all poker. They were not. No, there were a bunch of other stuff. Poker. Yeah. Poker, poker was the first thing radar. that worked. Poker was. There was one thing that worked. It was like video games playing Madden Mobile. Yeah. And uh, that was like my first. I got my first like check from YouTube when I was a sophomore in college. I was making like 
two hundred dollars a month or something like that. And you, I was like, I fucking you're made it. You want yeah. it to be that's a YouTuber. more than now because now you're stuck. <clears throat> a I million. know exactly. This is yeah. I should yeah. have gone back to the good old days. Yeah, two hundred bucks a month. If only I knew. Right. So let's talk about. Wait, your... wait, wait! I want to, I want to, I want to talk about that because I think okay. that there's a lot of like younger people who are interested in becoming a YouTuber or a TikToker. It seems um, that way. It's growing more and more popular for sure. Yeah. Like to be like a content person or social media person. Yeah, and um, I'm just curious: Were you playing poker before you started your poker channel? I vlogged my second or third ever like poker session in my life. My first video on my Rampage channel is like my third time ever playing. That poker. was in January of 2018. Yes. So <laughs> <laughs> that was it. in January of 2018, was it, was the, by the was way. Was the driving force more <clears throat> to become a content creator in the space or yeah. was it because? Yeah, always. It, it's yeah, not. It was always like in the first like maybe four years or something until recently. It was always about like just content, content, content. And now you're enjoying poker. I Are was. You studying? I still am. I don't know. I like poker. I've, I mean, I've always liked it, of course. But then like the stakes, like I said, got so big where I think I had to focus more on caring about the results of poker versus content but now it's kind of inversed over the last three sessions because now i'm just punting for the content because it's fun and because i'm probably have a gambling problem or something <laughs> well, i would never mixed. guess that can about i ask you, you a, actually yeah i don't know why i would ever say such a thing can i yeah. ask you a serious question do you plan on readjusting so you don't keep going down that road of losing because listen i don't care who you are and how many tournaments you win or how many endorsements you have you can't sustain those type was, of losses, right? Unless say. you come from a huge money or background. So what's Drug the plan dealer. going forward? Uh, hopefully the <clears throat> well isn't run dry with Nicole's family. Not one. <laughs> but uh, number two, yeah, yeah, that's that's like the kind of Are like you going to play lower shift. stakes? I don't know how to. I don't know. Wait, wait, wait. wait. You can't now? Like, Do you like it enough <clears throat> to play lower stakes? No. Really? You won't sit and play 1-3? No, not 1-3. No. Come on. <laughs> Come on, man. I'm not, shoot this lower stakes, I'm talking about like 10, 20, 50, 100. Play 1-3, you make a million dollars. I'm sorry for bringing up 1-3. Okay, everybody? <laughs> no, Jesus. Think... We'll talk about 1-3 when we talk about the meetup game. Okay. All right. Yeah. Uh, yeah, like, I, yeah, it's not sustainable. And like, I have to do some sort of mental reset of some sort. Sure. I thought I did that when I lost 500k that one time, well, the second to last time I played Hustler, but then that never really changed now since I played yesterday. So I don't know. Yeah, I've got some work to do and figure out what I want to do, and Let but obviously ask. not sustainable. Like I've lost a very significant percentage of like my net worth and stuff. Have I'm you? Not... Yeah. Okay. Huh? Well, I mean, he's down a million dollars plus. This guy took that's a concern. Twenty. That's a real concern. Like you yeah. really have to have a, make a new plan. Some some sort of emergency alarm bells are sirening somewhere. When you left so. last night, or when you like now that you know realistically, last three times you're down this much. Like, do you do what most players do? Like, do you leave? Are, do you have the chip where you're not monkey tilted completely? Like, there's some poker players that just can absorb that. I can't. I leave losing like seventy. And and yeah, you rage like, quit. It's smart. I I just quit, and yeah. and literally takes me a week to recover emotionally because I'm so mad at myself for doing some of the things they did. But I don't feel you're like that. I feel like it's like once you're done, you're done. Mm, no, it definitely <clears throat> bleeds. Does I mean, it affect that, you? That's why I've lost so much. You know, like it, it's just like Are you chasing. Trickling. For sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Every session, I want to win like 500k or something. Just like snap, get it all back. But that's not possible. Like yesterday or something. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. Well, it's good to know you're human, because right. I don't Got know a lot how of you feel. Here. You because yeah. you you handle it well, outwardly. I think mm. I had like my first. Did mini... you cry at home, Nicole? Well, probably once. Okay. <laughs> I yeah, I did. I did cry once. <laughs> 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 what was true. what was the time that made you cry? When I lost five fifty or like four. The second to last time I played Hustler, when I just like dusted all oh, of it. Fuck, we made you cry. I went home and I was like, wow. Uh, I saw my roommate. Uh, my, my my editor in the living room and I just like started bawling and I was like what the fuck is wrong <laughs> oh with me like oh this is rock bottom that's so really honest bottom. no it's tough it's yeah tough. that is tough no, yeah, the, number, the a, numbers are real the money is real yeah no all joking mm, aside, that is, that's really rough oh well Val. poker who hasn't cried you know, with I, I'm poker? just like um, I'm surprised because you've <clears> won so many poker tournaments you've had a ton of success like the um, 2022 you won the WPT high roller uh, did you have majority of yourself in all those tournaments that you that won? That one I had, yeah. Yeah, all the tournaments I won, I had 100%. So how does it, like, how do you get so down bad? How, like, it's, because it's you like don't, such you a don't major know, swing. You don't know how many 
bullets I fired to get there. <laughs> How many? Oh. A lot. I the mean, high I roller? Lost, yeah, I think like last year I lost like 400, 500K in tournaments. Yeah. Just because they're so big and it's act- it, technically it's actually not that much when you're playing like 10 and 25Ks. Right. Which is really stupid. I remember talking to Bart <laughs> Hansen about his uh, bracelet that he won like the five years ago. And he was like, yeah, I didn't even break even after I won the bracelet. And it was like hundreds of thousands of dollars because that's how much you're spending in buy Tourn- Tournaments are really silly. Yeah. yeah. You know, the plus EV for you, though, not that you can sustain this type of loss, not that you can sustain that type many bullets. Like eventually that's going to going to put you out. You know that that's why you're reevaluating. But with that said. Um, putting yourself in that position and having that much exposure, I think does bring some endorsements. It brings, I think your rise has brought WPT. You're an ambassador now there. I'm not saying that's going to pay all the bills or anything, but point but is. But does it? <clears throat> one day. One day. <laughs> point is, is it does bring you in the right direction. Now that you've put yourself in this position that you are as well known as you are, you are, people love you like in the community. They want to watch you play. Now, if you could get your shit together, Right. And you can and you and you can, you know, you can write the ship and make some better decisions. You know, the future is bright. There's a lot of good that can be done. Yeah. Just got to find it. Yeah. Eventually. Yeah. I think you will. You, you you've from all the things I, I see here, you're you're definitely navigating smartly, although there's some mistakes made. But recklessly. Recklessly does it, smartly. Does it feel like <laughs> mom and dad are lecturing you right now? This That's what great. I feel like we're doing. I mean, these are things I need to know and that like, I already know consciously, but like. Yeah. Like subconsciously, I mean, but then consciously putting it out there is always helpful. Think, I think of this it as a free therapy session. This is lovely. You can just get it all out right now. Cry. I should cry again. Yeah. Yeah. I could. I could use a good cry again. Yeah. No, it, it is. She's fucking around, which I love. But it is true. <laughs> but it is true. Like sometimes it is good to actually talk about this out loud because and cry because have, Nick cries a lot cry. to me. I do cry a lot. That's why <laughs> yeah. I'm like, oh God, he's like, we're so much. That's why alike. you have those uh, sunglasses on, right? I, I'm usually crying. <laughs> hide the tears. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, hide my face from her. <clears throat> All right. So, uh, oh my God. Um, so, okay. Let's like just talk about. I like that you have. I, what? Let's, let's talk about the time. million dollar cash game. Sure. You were involved in like a massive bluff. Lovely time. Yes. Imagine uh, if that bluff didn't go well. Oh my God, I would be fucked. <laughs> would you vomit on the table? Just projectile over I wouldn't everyone? Be very, I wouldn't be super pleased with myself, I don't think. But I would. I had another little bit of buy-ins to throw on the table. So I, I'm going to... Yeah, Valerie and I are going to try to show the clip and we'll fast forward through it. But we'll talk about the hand right now in a second. But what my question is, in, since uh, Valerie brought it up is when you made that bluff that final bluff for over 600,000 you shoved how did you process that meaning here's what i mean by that like that had to be like if he called and you lost what's <clears throat> next i had 500k to play with and you were going to put that out too yeah well, what else am i supposed to do no i i mean i'm going to quit no, no I, but it's it's su- such <clears throat> go no, I, like it, the hand was crazy. When you looked at it after, could you believe what he had? Because he had queens, right? He folded queens. Yeah, yeah. It was kind of absurd. Like, I think I found out after the session, right? So, like, I, I bluff and I specifically remember, like, okay, if he doesn't snap call, I'm just good. <clears throat> like, he's going to fold, like, basically everything, like, two pair, whatever. Never would have thought he had, like, a set, obviously. But, yeah, I mean, it's it's silly in my head. Like, my reality of it, versus my perspective of it versus, like, the actual reality was so different. It wasn't even close. Yeah. So it's just funny how it all worked yeah, out. Yeah, you were, you were walking through a minefield, didn't know it. But, yeah. you know, the thing is, I think that you had going for you, of course, is, of course, it's $600,000. So that's a tough call without the nuts. Um, and probably, I probably would have processed it this way. I probably would have processed, I don't think Rampage has $50 million. Right at this point, you're 26. You get there. I think you will. I really do. One day, but maybe. but you have to be conscious of the fact that this is a huge part of your bankroll, and for you to put that out, there just has to be Ace King. That's the right. Yeah. That was the thought process. That was my image. That that that's, that's like, what you worked. Is that's that, what I played on the entire rise? There it is. Right. Hustler. Every <clears throat> single shot take. I that's would right. Just, play like a maniac and that's the exact way you should have played it because that's exactly what i would have been thinking and i would be like there's fucking no way this kid doesn't have ace king no way yeah yeah that's, and that's you had a seven of clubs almost ace king 
He almost ace king. Look, I had a flush draw. It was so close. Yeah, say. you turned a flush draw. He thought he had ace king. Yeah, that's what blockers. Yeah. That's so important. we'll we'll show the hand. <laughs> uh, we will we won't go through it, but we'll show it. But basically, yeah, I'm just not. Gonna, I, we can go through it, but it's yeah. just ridiculous. So when I it was a fun hand. When I hear you talk, and I and I'm just gonna be honest. Uh, when I hear you talk, and I see that hand, and I think about that hand, I think that you say. That that's all you had, that's all you were playing with, that you would have been messed up if you lost that hand, if he calls. But it doesn't seem like that's true. It doesn't seem like someone would be taking a ri like such a massive risk with so much on the line. But maybe I just don't understand well, the mind of a gambler. that's the absurdity of it. That, it is absurd. Like, I, I honestly, there's a part of me that's like, he has to have some other form of income. Like, it ha there has to be something else. Well, to be fair, I had like 23% of myself that, that game. Yeah. So that's like, I was like super transparent about that. That, that was, I can't sustainably play that like 100%. So mm -hmm. I had friends. Like, I think my favorite part about the hand was that of all the people that I sold action to, like personal close friends, they all have like a story of where they were and when they watched that hand. <clears throat> that's because cool. they were all like significantly heavily invested in this. So each of them has like a different perspective on it, which I thought was Were really any of them cool. like mad at you for making this like crazy play? Well, they were play? all freaking out, of course, before, right? Like, I think my one of my uh, close friends, he had some significant portion uh, for himself. He was playing like a 10K tournament and was watching uh, the stream either on his phone or on a different like screen or something like that. And he like was playing some big pot in this tournament but didn't care at all about it and was just like, all right, I'm fully invested sure. in this. Because he had like, I don't know, 100K or something in this in this all-in bet or something like that. So yeah, that was, that was cool. So if they do the million dollar cash game this year, which I think you guys are, right? Mm -hmm. uh, are you, or would you play? I would love to. Would you, what, did you play on the day? Sorry, I don't, uh, it was like a while. The third day. So that was like the $500,000 buy-in day? No, that or was that was a million two. dollar day? It was, it was a million dollar okay. day. Yeah. So you would, you would be fine with buying in for another million dollars? You still got money? I can crowdsource money. He can yeah. get it. You got it. He'll Find get it. I'm trying. See, I'm trying to get to the bottom it. of this He'll financial stuff. You see that? It's not. But it's then, never mind. But then, would you play different? Would you play Nothing different at all? Ever no. Ever changes. No. I just. I've always played this way. Like, I think the now that I'm self reflecting a little bit, like when I was in college and I was playing one three, I was playing like a five hundred dollar buy in with three thousand dollars to my name or whatever, and like sometimes I go on a downswing, so I'd have like a thousand dollars to my name. And I would play with 50% of my net worth and I would always play the same. And hmm. and it's like that feeling of like life or death and every single decision mattering like so, so much is like the 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 feeling that I'm always trying to to attain and get to, which is obviously like unsustainable now because I have more than a thousand dollars and playing with more money. So that's probably my issue. But like nothing has ever changed ever since I started playing poker until now for like those last like five years. Yeah. Do you do you like conceptualize money in the same way you think like, I don't know. I feel like I don't conceptualize money in the same way that you do. I f it, like to me, it's it's so painful to part with it. It's not money when it's chips. Yeah. It's like the moment that it turns into chips and it's on, on, on the table, like before, like obviously I'm nervous before the million dollar game, but then like how I conceptualize it was like, these aren't chips. These aren't these aren't these aren't money. These are like tournament chips, whatever. Like I've I've played in the tournaments where you play with like five hundred thousand chips before, mm -hmm. right? Like that's normal. So I was like okay, like I'm just gonna bet six hundred thousand chips. The money, whatever, we'll we'll deal with the consequences later. But I'm I'm making this decision because I think it's correct in my head, and I'm just gonna go for it. And that's not easy luck. to do, man. Good luck to whoever's involved. Yeah, that's not easy to do. That's a chip many don't have. And honestly, is a chip I think you have to have to play at that level. I yeah, because I don't have it. Because yeah, it's like a lot of money. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> when you think about it. Yeah, it's weird. I, I always tell people, you know, I've I fucking earned every dime, and it's so hard for me. They're not chips to me; they're dollars, you know. So, but that's what's that's why you're a rising star because like you literally will do stuff like that. You've put yourself in this position. You've gathered so many views course your vlog and and all that was you know amazing you did say here i wrote which i found i didn't read it the first time you sent it to me you were second all time in poker subs until i think here's what what i thought oh, you told me weird stuff you, you said that me. you were what's that that's a weird stat to send you okay no uh, okay so here's what i thought it said you were second in poker channel subs until hcl passed you well you wrote is... that to me i guess in like not I don't know. That's what you wrote to me, so I didn't oh, know maybe. what it meant. You, no, I was not. 
Maybe. Uh, yeah, there's people that like I'm immediately thinking of that like count in poker, but I wasn't thinking of like Doug Polk has more subscribers and like Joey Ingram or whatever. There's also a guy who just hit a million. Maybe yeah. you. Well, meant, this was like this was like a year. Maybe and a half you ago. meant yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you had a ton of subs and then we and just then passed you. Passed you. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, something like that. You you wrote here that you had. Uh, yeah, you didn't say. You said. I remember. I, I remember in when you guys passed me. In 1992, you said this. You remember when we passed you? <laughs> yeah, I was. You really were like 200. How much? like 230 or something yeah, it's still around the same oh, yeah, okay it's yeah. changed a whole lot yeah but I, I remember you guys passing I was like this is sick yeah we're 320 well deserved 320 yeah. thank you yeah anyways thought we'd get that in but I that's what I read so that's why I said it I didn't know if it was right yeah. well the poker space is like <clears throat> booming now like from shorts yeah like my buddy Wolfgang has a million subscribers and it's pretty sick to see like the reach he has mm -hmm. and it's a lot from short form content because everyone wants to see like 60 second clips now so, and real quick, let's just, because you deserve it. Let's go over your stats. You have one bracelet. One, WSOP. What was it in? Uh, online, it was my second ever WSOP tournament ever played. So I've been nice. very lucky in my life. Nice, nice. That's a, that was I, have, I have to throw that stat in there. Yeah, it was during COVID. And you have five um, uh, rings, circuit rings? Five or six, something five like that. Five or six WSOP circuit rings? Yeah, but they're all like my biggest score in that was like maybe 30K or something. That's okay. But, but still, yes, you have I, have rings, one, right? I have one tournament. Let me yes. ask you a question how you feel about this. I, I well, Because you, you brought up the online thing. How do you feel about the online bracelets compared to the live bracelets? Here was what I mean by that. Like say you got a guy like Phil Helmuth with 16 bracelets. Yeah, is that it? 17, 16? 17? 17, He's yeah. 17 now. 17. And now just we say got 14 and just troll him. No, yeah, he would die. <laughs> He's got like three. He would die. Let's say Something 18 like and like make him happy. <laughs> But now we have a lot of players that are winning online bracelets. That's cool. It's still a big accomplishment. It's a bracelet. But I don't know. I, 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 I think you, it should be called something else. I think it <clears throat> dilutes the greatness of people who won 17 live bracelets. Do you agree with I, that or do you think I I'm agree, not a I agree <clears throat> with your statement that it dilutes it. I think what everything that they've been doing is diluting. I, okay, good. Yeah, regardless, right? Whether it's live or online, right? Like they have... Like, I don't know, maybe 30 years ago when Phil was playing, they'd have like 20 bracelet events a year. And now they have like 200. Yeah. So and, and, and to the other defense, you know, a couple of bracelets were won with like 100 people. But but, yeah. that, but that still doesn't matter because he's won 17 and most of them in the modern day. And he's he's undoubtedly one of the top or if not the best poker tournament player. But I just think the online stuff is just... Um, yeah, it makes the ease so much. It's yeah. I mean, they're giving away like <clears throat> Michigan State only online bracelets where yeah. there's like forty people in the first place is like whatever, like six k or something. Yeah. So for someone that they get a, 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 a poker bracelet, eventually wins These twenty bracelets. of yeah. those and says I'm a twenty WSOP. It's just yeah. not. It's just well, not right. Then we have to define what 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 it means to get a bracelet. I know, like, is but it a, not. A, a, uh, like how many people are entered for the amount like what is it that defines I know. that i know i know your yeah. cat is playing with I, my leg under the table and it's uh, is it's it the kind black of one? i don't know if it's freaking me out or flirting with me but like if it's yeah. the black one it's sure definitely it's gonna lead to sex. It, it's probably no nick's past that phase now okay. with um that, calm down with that okay that's good but yeah but back to the back it. to well, the bracelets yeah no i think like you know what they said I feel like WSOP <clears throat> has like some sort of responsibility in terms of like their industry like mm -hmm. presence and how people view bracelets. But also like I kind of get what they're doing from like a business standpoint, obviously take advantage of the market. Everyone's going to show up and play. Why not ma maximize your revenue and stuff? What kind of market is it if it's like 60 people in one state? People are just showing up. It's like, it's just like collecting rake money. I don't know. It, I understand where they're coming from a business standpoint, but from like an industry, maybe the criteria of tournament success needs to change from a bracelet to something else. I don't know, like a WPT world championship. I don't know. Yeah. Cause it, it hardly seems fair to give like the same bracelet to someone who just won 6K versus 60 people and, and then versus someone who's like won a monster stack versus like 6,000 people. There's a huge difference. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's just a lot more opportunity now. So I'm going to ask the stupidest question ever. If you win an on bra online bracelet, they actually ship you a bracelet. bracelet. I got a bracelet. Yes. They send it to you? Yes. Holy shit. Okay. What, did you, what did you think? I don't know. I just, the first time I ever thought even to think of it. Of course, that had to happen, but I just thought. No, I, they actually send me like a Twitter logo. And that's all I, I can just add it to my Twitter. Yeah, logo. I was going to say maybe, <laughs> like an NFT, maybe really. just a, a PDF bracelet. 
NFT. Well, I mean, I was going to say, yeah, NFTs are a thing, right? Is it an NFT bracelet? That'd be really f- that. Actually, that would be really funny. If you win an yeah. WSP online bracelet, <laughs> yeah. you get, a you get an NFT, NFT bracelet. bracelet. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, it'd be the only one. So it might yeah, be exactly. worth something. Huh. That way, no one can complain. Because... On the Dogecoin blockchain. Yes. Yeah. And does it look just like the WSOP bracelet? I think so. It just says yeah. online on it. It does. I don't know. Okay. I well, was a little. You I would smile all you want, Val, but like this is it's a like serious question to, for me. <laughs> it's like going to Harvard <laughs> online, like the <laughs> yeah. their their side little online project, and getting like a certificate from Harvard and right. being like Harvard University. Congratulations! Alum. Yeah, congratulations on your computer system. I hope system. you don't think we're like dragging your bracelet. This was just <laughs> we're, no, you we're sh- you dragging should. your bracelet. <laughs> no, I really should. No, like, I, it's just a thing that I've often thought was just not right. I also think tournaments are just like so stupid now that i've played too many of them it's just do you all like up. cash better than tournaments or tournaments I don't better know. i like what do you like better what's I, your future i like tournaments because they feel like there's a prize at the end and there's like an element of like competition of a leaderboard or winning or whatever okay. like i i just want to chase the win yeah and so cash you, is like you can win however you many dollars you enjoy 20 big blinds no, what I do you 30 I big actually, blinds yeah yeah because it's all luck then it's like all in and hope you win hope you hold win the flip yeah 500 times it's a competition between others and there's a reward at the end whether it's yeah. money in the trophy or the ring or whatever it's competition right yeah so i enjoy that aspect you see you playing more tournaments than cash in the in your i future? have played a lot of tournaments and i feel like i have wasted a lot a lot of time playing tournaments well really you don't yes. feel like it's plus ev in your life at all i think i could be doing so many other things than like wasting nine hours of a day to lose a thousand dollars or something or whatever the the buy-in is right and it's over and over i don't know i could i could complain and bitch about this but i i see pros and cons of both tournaments are really fun from like a competition standpoint definitely not from like a money standpoint i don't think at all you don't think it's sustainable to try to make your career money-wise in tournaments no not even close how how are people the wpt's listening (laughs) but they're fun yeah but they're fun yeah. Are you going on that cruise, the WPT I cruise? On the cruise? Yeah. Are you going on the cruise? Uh, I don't know how I feel about being locked on a boat floating in the middle of the ocean with a bunch of. You'll have a friend. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. I mean, I don't know. I I don't like that idea. I probably will be like barfing the entire time because the motion of the ocean. And, and what if there's like you a? You don't like Nicole enough. What if it, I do like wrong. Nicole? She's so sweet. What if there's like a hurricane? You know, the boat like boat is big. I don't know. Large. I feel I feel like that no one will stop gambling if there's like a hurricane or anything. Like the yeah. boat oh, topples over, do? everyone else just keeps playing. What else are we gonna do? Pocket yeah. your chips while you're trying to We're swim in the oh, Atlantic. Hopefully the captain isn't in the tournament. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, how did you feel when you made that W uh, that WPT commercial when you went? What is this? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that was great. Uh, I thought it was. And jumped up in the air and I, went, yes, dude, I'm I qualified. Ex- I'm excited. You were excited, yeah? I thought it was funny because <laughs> it was like such a small handheld camera that he, uh, this guy Matt had, but it would record in like 400 frames per second. Mm. I don't know. That was the that was the one thing that jumped out yeah. to me. Outside of that, yes, I just filmed, yeah. I, we filmed it in a driveway or something. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, my God. When you were first vlogging and playing poker, did you even have any concept or idea that it would get to this point, like you would be this person in poker? I mean, is this surreal, or did you always see this trajectory for yourself? Uh, that's a good question. I don't do a good job of like reflecting back on the journey and like appreciating mm-hmm. the the rise or the moments and whatever it may be. But I just thought that like I would find something eventually that would work and it i think it's really silly that it was poker that ended up working because i like i tried and failed like 20 different channels so i didn't do that because like i thought i would fail at all of them i thought one was gonna work and luckily it was poker so like yeah i didn't think like poker was gonna work but i thought did you ever eventually think it could be I was this gonna... massive for you did you ever think when uh... it first started that you would be like a like honestly an ambassador for wpt known by everyone in the poker world winning fucking gpi awards like come on no of course not yeah no i yeah. mean that not nothing i don't I never like plan out yeah vi- a vision for success or anything like that obviously well, so i guess your story is cool. great for people to keep trying that's for sure 20 yeah. 20 whiffs 
Let me ask you. It just takes one. Yeah. No one cares about the fails. Just, yeah. just have one success. Yeah. Like think, tournaments. You guys only talk about the wins and not, not none yeah, about the, the 80 bullets. The, the bullets are just fired. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, I feel like this is an only fans problem, but I'm not saying you're, uh, you're on any sort of like website like that. What well, I'm saying is like. the downswing keeps continuing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so there there's a thing when you start to get a lot of followers and then you depend on your channel or subscriptions to continue your wpt ambassadorship and all of this stuff is tied to your popularity is there a world where you feel obligated to continue to play poker like you're, you're talking to me it sounds like you're kind of sick of tournaments like do you ever feel obligated to continue playing tournaments because you have this youtube channel now you have this ambassadorship and you're tied to that yeah I've been burnt out for like two years now, maybe or something at least with poker and stuff. So mm. yeah, that is all I've been doing. I feel obligated to play. I feel obligated to make content. Do uh, you like that feeling or do you feel yes like... and no? I mean, it's like <laughs> all I've known for the past five years, right? Like I just like formed this new identity through poker. And I, I think recently I took like a two week break, which is the longest break. I haven't really? played poker I think the other longest break I had was like three days or something. Are you kidding me? Uh, That's the a last lot of poker, bro. Something. Yeah, I mean, I have to pay, post videos. So I got to just keep playing. And it, yeah. I mean, yeah, like I used to post three videos a week uh, for like three or four straight years. So that's like infinite poker to play all the time. So yeah, I've, I've been that way for like forever. <laughs> And uh, so I feel like you're dying inside right now while you tell me that. It makes me sad. Is I there... mean, that's just like the reality of like making He's content, young. right? Yeah. But do you, do you, but also do you like think... on the flip side, right? Like I have an opportunity that is, that won't last forever. It's like very fleeting, especially in social media and like relevancy on YouTube and stuff. Yeah. Like the life cycle is usually like five years. So I'm already hitting the end probably of this peak or whatever you want to call it. Like I already see numbers and stuff going down. So it's like, might as well try to maximize it personally. Sure. As I can. Why Would, is that? Why does it, excuse me, why Why does it take a turn like that after a certain amount of time? Why does the, Why do the numbers go down? It's the same uh, person, same content. Yeah, probably because <clears throat> it just gets super repetitive over right. and over again, right? People like, just have like, seen it before. They like the repetition. It brings them in and then eventually it, uh, it eventually, wears yeah, on you them. Get, you get sick of watching the same thing over and over again. So like probably a mix of me not pivoting well enough with the content or whatever it may be. Or also... Yeah, you got to change. Also too, I think like Hustler really changed up the, the YouTube space a lot. Mm -hmm. I think I like read posts about it and I like, agreed with it. Like this viewpoint of how Hustler posts so much content and it like takes up the bandwidth for other people to be able to consume more poker content in this like very small niche. <laughs> yeah, you're right. So when you guys post like six hours of content a week, people can't consume. Like if they're watching only Hustler, then where's like the other time on top of from? their live they stream they can't watch other people like right owen and yeah i mean because like we're putting else. out five long form shows a week and putting them up on the internet and, and making and clips. clips like three or four well, yeah shows. they have a whole yeah. team working on yeah. it so they're just yeah like i know people that only exclusively watch hustler which makes the most sense because it's like obviously great content yeah but then they don't have time to watch anyone else so never thought like of that the, would you the other time? would you just quit if you just got to a place where you just didn't want to do it anymore uh yeah I, I think about this like constantly all the time i'm not really sure where i'm at but like poker is fun like i enjoy it and uh in my two week break like i've explored a different project and stuff which i realized like oh there's a lot more to life than just playing poker and making yeah, videos what would be other things that you would be interested in uh i'm getting into golf a lot mm, me fun. too really yeah i'm taking lessons oh cool yeah, yeah. I, have a, I have a golf bet with uh, a buddy of mine um, I'm trying to make like golf videos hopefully sometime soon really mm -hmm. just for fun and it's like a good like excuse to be outside for five hours and hack away at the earth mm -hmm. so it's fun that's cool so this will be an easy question how much does WPT pay you a year I don't know if I can say that but you not can't. enough you probably can't probably not. but I thought I just it's, asked it's, it's not enough though <laughs> it's sure. not it's not uh, comparative to the the stakes I'm playing and stuff. Oh yeah. Well, is it is it over six figures or under? Over six. Yeah. Well, it is six figures. It's okay. not more than six figures. Oh okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's I not would not bad. Be, it's better than a stick to the eye. No, I, def I yeah. definitely no complaints. No, I'm very yeah. happy with them. <laughs> God, you and these old Italian sayings. <laughs> I don't get it. You don't get they it. They went right over my head. Well, it's like this. Would you rather have a hundred k a year or a stick in your eye? Probably the hundred k a year. It's better than a stick to the eye. 
Depends. Oh my yeah. god. It's not much of, of a. Is it your stick? <laughs> hey now. It would be. Hey now. His now stick. you're getting. Mm. Now it you're getting kinky. Sure be his well, stick. <laughs> now you're getting crazy. Well, then that wouldn't really feel much. Might be his <laughs> sword. <laughs> yeah. It, <laughs> That's <laughs> fair. It's fair. So you win. What is uh? What are your plans for this year as far as like content? Tell us. Tell your fans what they can expect from you. Um, same old poker content, I guess. Some golf and, content. Are you gonna create a new trying, channel? No, for I'm golf? gonna put it all. I, I thought about that, but I think I'm gonna experiment with different forms of content probably later in the year. Like golf stuff would be cool. More lifestyle stuff like making content that probably fulfills me more from a creative mindset versus just like showing up playing poker and you know this is what i do so i'm trying to do different things mm. yeah it seems like wpt has a certain type of ambassador they have to be very clean cut like andrew brad right those guys are, are they wpt people they, yeah they are. yeah Jamie. yeah yeah they're very yeah, just they have to be clean cut you just They're like you know, like people. real. Uh, Rampage isn't like like. No, but Rampage is a little bit of a degenerate. Not, I'm not talking about bit. degeneracy. A lot. I'm not talking <laughs> not about degeneracy. Not a little, but a lot. Un, un, um, not very controversial. Yeah. I, d- I feel like this guy is like. <clears throat> I try not to be. No, no, I'm very like controversial. In the like I mean, Doug the, Polk. like yeah, like Doug, I or myself but everybody right? hates like, Doug Polk. the whole community that's hates that's what him. I mean like Andrew and uh, uh, what's the other one Brad Brad they uh, like have I've never heard them say anything but like well, well Andrew just, thank you for everyone you know Andrew like is legitimately like one of the nicest guys in that's poker. what I'm saying that's the thing that's what I'm saying and like you know Jamie is very truth. correct and very you know whatever nothing polarizing it's just they're looking for you know golden boys and girls that's good. That's a smart what business is, take. It just hit me, so I said it. Hustler, Hustler will sponsor all of the. Yeah, you can't. Rage you would, you would not be a good ambassador for Hustler. <laughs> yeah. You don't have any scandals. You haven't cheated. Yeah. No cheating yet. Yeah. No, you haven't no. punched anyone at the table. What about home games? Yeah. <laughs> you don't have a drinking problem. <laughs> yeah. You might develop one soon. <laughs> if you continue. Uh, we should. That's all. Hustler should start having their own, like, just reverse sponsored. ambassadors. Yeah. I mean, it really is a reality show, right? Like you just get all the shit, and it's perfect. Yeah. That's why everyone loves it. And eats yeah. it up. Yeah, I know it is pretty much. Nick everyone Airball's the in. number one, number one guy who would never be sponsored by anyone else. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So that's my point. It just kind of hit me, and that's why I said it. I don't know why. It's not that interesting of a topic, but I did think of it. That's why people always love to tune in to to the to the shows because you just never know what the fuck you're gonna expect. I know, right? Yeah. Who's and gonna that's... flip out this time? Who's gonna break a fucking chair or yeah. uh, the glass? The glass yeah, door. Who's gonna fight? It? We, we just had my Nick favorite and thing when Mariano someone... about the King's Tank and like, yeah. It's, when, you know, if someone fun. tries to like Jerry, if you fight Nick again, I mean, I'm there for it. I'm a big fan. Jerry, right? It was Jerry. Oh, so who tried to so, fight? So oh, Jerry. Yeah. Yeah. Who tried to fight you? Yeah. 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 Shout out what to Jerry. This? It was like right when we started. Um, I'll give him 20 you know bucks what? to try it we'll again. We'll try to show that. We <laughs> were supposed to show the clip last time when we talked about it. I'll try to show it this time in this video. We'll get Brian to do it. Um, just, I don't want to tell a story again. People have heard it a million times. But yeah, I'll someone to, wanted I'll to fight me. Research. And I, you know, you can't fight in a casino because you get barred. And I have a show there. So so you didn't fight. But you, well, you he's already barred from Commerce. I wanted to. So he can't get barred from Hustler. So He knows that. All right. Yeah. Knows that. Yeah. 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 Yeah, because you were cheating there. I love that we're yeah, looking at you. <laughs> we just caught you. <laughs> yeah. like, the camera's literally right above you. We just saw your phone. I, I <laughs> was, was I was recruiting day regs at the commerce in the ten twenty because they're so yeah. good for our game. Yeah, you're right. It is good content. Yeah, it's yeah. good. Well, you have to. You gotta get a coach <laughs> somehow, right? You can't keep losing day regs from the commerce. Old man <laughs> yeah. coffee. Yeah, just all the guys that are just, sitting there in hoodies and glasses and grinding. I can't wait to put them on my show. It was the biggest, stupidest thing I ever poacher. Heard. Stupidest thing I ever heard, but whatever. It makes for a good show. Um, That's what makes you controversial. Whatever you do, yeah, just causing problems. Yeah, just problems, right. problems, problems. Uh, so, what's your what's the biggest mistake you've made since starting this poker journey? What would you do different if you had? I one would thing? not give Dustin four hundred and fifty thousand dollars. <laughs> I would bluff again versus hands. Is are you being um, results oriented now? Yep. That you. One hundred percent. If as long as I, I get, as long as I can get the same outcome, I would bluff. I will again. say you. I will. I will say you. I will tell you that if it was like Tom, Tom's calling. I think it. One. Yeah. Well, who? What other Tom was in the that's game? What I, I was trying to figure out. Thumb. 
Tom. Thumb. There was one Tom in the game, oh, right? There was not cool. another Tom. And when we say Tom in poker, it's Tom Dwan. It's it not is. Tom Thumb. I've never oh, heard God. Tom. I've so never just heard him go by one. I think JRB calls. I think Tom calls. Doug probably. So I think you found the perfect I think opponent. Doug folds. Doug folds. I think Doug folds. Doug is bad, so maybe he does he's fold. Not bad. He's good enough to fold. I'm just he finds kidding. a way to lose. Kidding. He's good also. enough to fold. I'm just kidding. I have no. I have nothing to stand on. Like I'm of what I'm talking I about. Also one three. Don't think they ever have queens there, though. I don't know. They don't slow play it. Yeah, it was definitely. But his you know, his hand was massively underwrepped. It was crazy. It was yeah. Massively when I, when someone when I saw you were probably tech. shocked when you found out. Oh yeah, you I could have like, never put him on that. Yeah, hand. I, sh I shit myself. That was great. Yeah, that was, that was a that was a good that was a good time. Uh, I don't know what other. Probably just like this downswing amount. Probably one of the bigger mistakes I've had. Just like not caring about the money, chasing. Were you were chasing, you tilting all the things? So you weren't. You don't think you were running bad? You think you were playing bad? I would have lost regardless, but I certainly like tripled the amount that I could have should have lost or something. It's it's very typical when you run bad that you start to play bad. Do you feel? Yeah, they both they go together. They both go together for sure. Do you feel obligated to kind of play crazy because you're rampage? Uh yeah. Uh huh. That is part of the pressure to keep living, living it up. But also, like, it's, it's how I've always been, too. So, like, it's hard to course correct something that's in my DNA to be, like, right. a blaster at the table or something. Like, I am no different than any other Chinese gambler is we just blast. I'm telling play. you, he stepped up into that game. It was big for him the first time he played Hustler. And he was fucking shoving it like that's that. I don't even know how I called because I put you on scared money. I don't even know what happened, to be honest. Something about queen. I had a queen, I, king, queen. Yeah, I don't remember either. I remember. You remember though, right? Like, oh yeah. I, yeah. No, you got me good twice. Twice. And then yeah. I got you good once. Yes. And then that was the end. Then that's it. And so that's why we gotta go you again. Left positive. We gotta go again. Yeah. So you have a winning record against me. Yeah. Two out of three. Two out of three. Um, what do you think was your biggest uh, accomplishment in poker thus far? What are you most proud of to this point? I am proud of still being here because yeah. a lot of people come and go. And especially with like the very limited bankroll that I have playing the games way over my head, I still survived, yeah. which is good. And trying to survive is my next challenge. <laughs> right. Because I'm teetering on that. Like, I feel like I've played the same way I've always been. And I've been very lucky to survive. Off of, like, like you need, like, a big bankroll to play these, like, Friday games and stuff. And I, I just don't. It's as simple as that. Like, I could, I can lose 10 times in a row. And then I'm, then you never see me again, probably. Yeah. The, like the that. type of bankroll you need to play the Hustler big game is millions. Yeah. To be comfortable. Tens. No, probably. of course. To be, to yes. be, people don't understand how big your bankroll has to be to be comfortable. If not, you're yeah. shot taking. Okay. Yeah, I'm shotting every single time, so I'm proud that I am still here. Yeah, uh, yeah, because I could easily just not be if I ran worse. I guess. Yeah, I've been very, quite lucky to still be here. Do A you, lot of it comes down to luck. It's really stupid. This game is so stupid. Do you study? Uh, like maybe in tournaments, I have some help because I'm playing against like really good players. All the you time, don't have like a solve for why membership or anything. I, I do have one. You have a Solve for Y membership? You gave me one. When Hell I, yeah. When I first went to Vegas, I went to like the Poker Out Loud thing. You know, it'd be so funny you if you showed up at their camp, like a weekend camp with all like the... the... I hit them up about this like four <laughs> years ago. <laughs> nice. Did you ever consider this maybe why you're on a downswing? I didn't think about this. <laughs> I, I won't pull I you in the middle of this. this. Don't worry. I, you're, you're, I'm going to make sure I don't... There. I'm going to... Every show, I'm a every time though. I open my mouth, I'm going to make the, sure I'll never be an ambassador of, anywhere. The face <laughs> of self for why membership, I, ladies and gentlemen, stuck big, <laughs> down bad. That's right. <laughs> no, Downswing poker. I, I'm just joking. I'm sorry, I Matt. Need, I'm joking. No, I just please. need coaching from Nick or something. <laughs> break. Don't don't run this. Clip don't block her again. Yeah. Well, he 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 will. Don't worry. Right. Uh, you have any you have any life goals? Uh, Long term goals. Uh, that's po another word for long term, life. right? Like, who do you want to be when you grow up? What are these kind of questions? These are so deep, and it's yeah. like when you grow up. We want to know you. When you grow up in poker and as a person, who do you want to hug? Be? Should we I all like grown up? Who do you want to be though? I'm later. already an adult. Yeah, yeah, but somehow. you got a whole other life to live. Your frontal lobe just finished. Yeah. 
Yeah, That's you're true. just I'm now making immature. good decisions. You just baked it. It's it's ready. Oh, now. Your insurance just yeah. fucking went down, so you're yeah. not like my that. Insur- I have to pay you for can, health insurance. What are you I, talking I'm about? You now can rent a car. But at 25, your insurance goes down. This just happens, so we can ask you what are your life God, goals. God, I feel like such you're a not, boomer. You can't talking ask to me. You. you can't ask me my life goals. What? You got to ask me well, what do I want on my gravestone? Do you do you listen? Do you guys know How do I want to be remembered? She's no Gary Vee at all. Yeah, listen to I know. Yeah, I I mean he's okay. I you feel like a lot okay. of his stuff is like. Well, why don't you let him say what he thinks? Okay, about yeah, first? well, no, yeah. no, I want to hear this. Fuck I feel like he asked me a you're fucking sorry, question. The, this is your show. <laughs> Italian fucking sausage, right here. Yeah, go ahead. What's no, up with the Gary? Hate? Now that she hates him, tell us how much you like no, him. Tell, tell me how much you hate him. And no, 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 I don't hate him. I just feel like um, his uh, advice works. I guess like this is the silliest way of saying it. When it works, like there's. I don't think the majority of content creators are going to like make it big. I don't think the, I don't think everyone has what you have. Like you've got this thing. I don't know how to say it, but when I talk to you, what, like how vulnerable you are and your personality, it's like a thing. You've got this je ne sais quoi that works for you, but I don't think it works for everyone. I know people who've been like trying to launch poker or, or YouTube channels forever and they haven't been successful. Well, he tried 20 times, so the point right, of Gary Vee right, or anyone but not else everyone is, has, is just keep getting in there and right. keep taking swings. I don't know. I like, I, What's I, funny I is that you, I think you like made Gary Vee's point. Yeah. Because he says this. Yeah. Uh, he says he preaches like, fuck trying to do whatever for like fame and publicity. It's just do whatever makes you happy. Right. And you're way better off making $40,000 a year or something, doing something that you're genuinely passionate about. And like, who cares about the follower accounts or whatever? Just do what makes you happy versus like trying to chase the bag and make a right. million dollars a year doing something that makes you deeply unhappy. I will say as someone, a former person in her 20s, formerly in my 20s, you made it. I was doing things for passionate reasons and they didn't pay me any money. And so it, it didn't quite work out so well. I, I think it doesn't always work out so well. And I honestly, at this point in my life, would rather work for, you know, 250K than passionately for 40,000 even though I can be passionate making over 200k you know what I mean I'm sure you also you could be quite happy doing the 250k job too yeah I guess levels of happiness are different yeah yeah I bring him up because he talks about age all the time what does he say when um, you're young yeah do it what yeah. does he say no, Tell he me. says he says we're all fucking young so he's he's always really annoyed when like 25 year olds go up to him and be like hey like I don't have my shit figured out I don't know what I'm doing right now and I'm 25 I feel like I'm wasting time and I'm old and I'm losing time, or whatever. And he's like, shut the fuck up, you baby. Like, I don't care if you're 25, you're 40, you're 50, whatever. You still have like 50% of your life to live when you're 50. Uh, like this and that, like you're 25, you don't know anything yet. Like he started his business, I guess, when he was like 39. Mm-hmm. This, this media company or something. And that's when he started like to pick up some sort of like success and fame and notoriety. But from ages like 20 to 30, he was working at his dad's liquor store, just stocking shelves or doing whatever like menial work that you wouldn't deem was his first business like a wine business it's his dad's wine business dad's wine so he business. just helped it yeah and like <clears throat> ran it i right. guess for forever yeah but he, i don't know you guys were talking about age and stuff and it's just right like, look everyone's it, still super young it seems like according to his perspective and i kind of like it but i also don't like believe in it personally because i'm too young and immature to see the other side yet I will tell you, I don't subscribe to like, oh, I, I'm in my 40s and now I'm dead and now I have to be stagnant in yeah. what I'm doing. I, do, I don't like people who just stop learning, stop trying, stop trying to be ambitious. I don't believe that, but I think that I'm not as, I'm a little bit more risk averse. So anyway, I don't mean to make it middle. about me. It's about you right now. It's about Sorry. Gary V, actually. It's about Gary V. It is about yeah. Gary V. No, there's. There, I'm sure the truth is somewhere in the middle, but I do like his perspective of like being more hopeful with time or whatever. I don't know because we were talk, just talking about age. Yeah, and you know, I joked and said the gravestone thing, but for me, that's just a, a shtick because um, I've told people this all the time. Like I'm old. I really. I have a. I have a daughter your age. Let's put that in the perspective. That's how old I am. With that said, uh, I don't feel older than you. Yeah, that's, I, I don't like. I literally I can don't. See it, I can yeah. fucking whip your ass, right? No, I'm kidding. We're both so immature. no. I'm joking. I'm, the, the depths of my immaturity are so deep. It's you have amazing. no idea. Oh, that's so true. So I don't feel older. Like I really, legitimately don't until we start talking about it. And even we were talking earlier. I'm actually starting an endeavor that's going to take up a fucking ton of my bandwidth, and I'm excited about it. I cannot be stagnant. 
I cannot be retired. I cannot just be like, oh, I'll sit on my laurels. So to your point, to Gary's point, to whoever's fucking point it is, I agree. I yeah, agree. like you started this like a year ago or something, right? You, you always have different yeah. projects. The Hustler was in 2021 and just. Yeah. I was telling Nicole this one about the maturity thing. I don't think I'm ever going to be mature. <clears throat> yeah, don't. It's, unfortunately, it's just too bad. <laughs> Second, like I like what you're doing where you just have a bunch of side projects and hustles all the time, which is something that I envision myself also yeah. never being able to stop because it's just like fun. Yeah. To I do this show strictly because I love it. It is not a monetized yeah. concept. And No, I, you, def- you definitely don't do no, it for no, money. No, not at all. And so, yeah, I got 19,000 subscribers. <laughs> I ain't doing <laughs> shit for money. Hey, can I ask you something? I, we sometimes get 70,000 people watch a show if it's really good, and I got 19,000. Sub- uh, how do I get that up? Can you, you, you can want you, subscribe? Subscribers don't matter. It doesn't? No. It's just the views? It's just views, yeah. Okay, then we're doing good. Uh-huh. I mean, you know, okay. We're, yeah, it's so weird. Subscri- I see other channels that have way more subscribers that have less views, and then ours is the other way around, and I'm, I can't yeah. figure it out. It used to matter. Oh, then the it? algorithm changed it where, like, it doesn't I, matter. Like, when was the last time you went on youtube and was like let me look at my subscription box no you go to your no. home page you see the mm-hmm. shit that they just give you like 10 different things that you want to click mm-hmm. on and you're like all right we'll have to click on fucking all of them yeah and that's it and yeah. that's your time on youtube yeah and the for algo. me too and i'm sure valerie like when i get to talk to someone like yourself like i knew a few things of course but you know i like to ask questions to get to know someone i love interviewing people like that's just something that like i really like so i do it you yeah know? i i can see how it's really like just fun and yeah it's like a passion project. So just do it. Let me ask you, because you're in the public spotlight. And um, I mean, I, I feel like my reach is so much less than yours. And I get so many like terrible comments. I can't even imagine what yours are. How do you deal? And I'm sure you have like a ton of fans. But how do you deal with negativity within social media? I always loved it, to be honest. Uh, yeah, I loved it. I never like. I guess in the beginning, I, 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 I literally only made YouTube videos because I wanted to learn how to play poker. Mm-hmm. I saw it as like, I'm going to learn from these random people online to tell me how bad I am to learn how to play poker because that was my third session ever. And that has always been like my mindset up until maybe recently because now I keep losing and stuff. And it's like maybe <laughs> affecting a little <clears throat> bit of like my mental sanity. But for the most part, uh, like engagement is just good and I don't really take it personally. And... I guess any publicity is good publicity to a certain degree whether people like think really highly of you or really poorly of you they're still watching uh yeah you still have like that engagement mm-hmm. which means something I guess when you add it yeah we up. always talk about that oh, we're yeah, like oh they're negative something. but they're still watching we just they still about it. care whether it's good or bad yeah which is how my livelihood has kind of been dependent on so regardless I'm happy with it I guess. Yeah. And you know, it's a, it's a crazy world out there when you're in the public eye. Like we, you know, it's so funny. Like we, we have a show and half the comments will be like fucking best show ever. Oh my God. I'm so and glad you guys are Fucking worst show ever. And then, then right after that's like, this is fucking torture. Why is she back on? And you're an idiot. <laughs> you know, like it's just, it's just the way it is. Yeah, it's also But they're like, both watching. Yeah. You can't take it personally either. Cause it's so easy for them to have a screen name and like we've all done it, right? Like we just shit talk and like have thoughts and stuff. And you're just like, there's no consequence of saying something positive. Isn't that or something these days? Yeah. When I grew That's up, why that there's was so different. Much negativity. Yeah. Yeah. It was different. There was consequences when you opened your flap. Yeah. I, I grew up in the era of playing video games online and just saying every worst name in the book to random people that I would talk. I know I had like a 10 <laughs> second time or two. You'd see the screen name. You see other people that they have mics on. And you start immediately talking shit because you're a toxic 13 year old. With nothing else to do. Wow, wow, yeah. 10 seconds. It was great. Mm, that's awesome. Yeah. Sounds like my Discord server. Yeah, perfect. That's exactly. Nothing's changed. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Very cool. Um, unless you have anything else, I guess the last couple things would be, do you have any advice for people that are trying to do what you do, whether it be content creation, poker, basically trying to win at something, and uh, any final thoughts? Uh, Yeah, I guess like in terms of content or poker or whatever, just be honest and truthful. I think like within content, there's a lot of people that would want to like copy with what's working or do what gets the most views or whatever. But like, I feel like just being vulnerable and being genuine shines out the most, whether it's through like your poker play or Mm -hmm. just making videos. So I think that's like number one. Uh, You can't really like fake it because I think like one thing is that with social media, like you just get exposed. That's what Gary Vee said. 
I'm learning a lot from him. Mm-hmm. Uh, it like social media like quickens <clears throat> the pace in which you get exposed, so you can't really like act and put on a show because eventually the truth comes out. Yeah, he says it much more eloquently than me. Yeah, but point I get your point. It basically <laughs> is like. You can't fake it because, first of all, they'll pick up on it. And second yeah. of all, if you get too well-known, they'll they'll figure out it wasn't true. Yeah. So just be yourself, and if it works, it works. 100%. Yeah, that's cool. All right. Um, I don't have anything else. How about you there? No, that's great. You're okay. a breath of fresh air. I really, I really like how vulnerable you are, and I think that's what works with you. So hopefully you'll get some money back. Well, uh, we will see. If not WPT, Time let's raise tell. his salary. Either that or Nick needs to come and play back on hustler i, I think that's why you that, want me there bad is because you know <laughs> that's fucking free money the massive whale regardless this money is not easy to get um <laughs> oh, this God. is the nick fertucci show i am nick fertucci for my co-host valerie for ethan rampage and nicole envy out <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.